If it was in front of my car, it would still show up on the screen. I would pick that spot. It would pull forward up to where it needed to go and then back into the spot. And I was like, this is so cool. My car just got an upgrade. I didn't have to pay anything for it. It just showed up. That's the level of competition you have to deal with if you are any sort of car maker right now. Top story of the day, Tesla kills another competitor. This EV maker is slashing prices as it tries to avoid bankruptcy. Okay, so uh, I am a Tesla owner and a Tesla fanboy. And this weekend, uh, my car got a, uh, a software update, I believe 2024.3.6. I believe that's what it was. Now, I didn't think anything of it. It, it happens all the time. No big deal. Um, but then my, my older son wanted to go to the mall for his birthday yesterday. And uh, we're pulling into the mall. And then on the screen of the car, I noticed something new. It was showing all the parking spots. And then it was like, pick a spot and then click this button to auto park. And I'm like, wait a minute. What? What just happened? Say what? I I, I never even like practiced this, practiced this beforehand. I, I'm, I'm going through the mall parking garage there. I click the button. And it, it it puts the car in reverse, spins the wheel one way, spins the wheel the other, and then we're we're moving into the spot. There's a concrete barrier on my left side, a car on my right side, lines it up perfectly the very first time. I looked at my wife and I was like, that was really cool. <laughs> I did not even know this was coming. And my car just parked itself. So afterwards, once we were done with the mall, I'm like, we got to we got to play with this. So uh, we go like in an area there are, where there are no cars. And so I'm, you know, picking a spot and letting it take it, take us to the spot. And I was like, OK, what about if it's ahead of me? Will it still back into the spot if it's ahead of me or will it pull forward? So, no, if it was in front of my car, it would still show up on the screen. I would pick that spot. It would pull forward up to where it needed to go and then back into the spot. And I was like, this is so cool. My car just got an upgrade. I didn't have to pay anything for it. It just showed up. That's the level of competition you have to deal with if you are any sort of car maker right now, right? People don't want an EV. People want Teslas. That is the reason why, because they get better every day almost. All the time I turn around, my car is getting better and better and better. Hey, thanks for watching live. Watch channel DE. Thank you so much for tuning in live. So Fisker, Cuts price on the 2023 model year Ocean Electric SUV that will take effect on Friday. So it's cutting the price on last year's model, which is not good if they still have inventories of last year's model. California-based electric vehicle startup Fisker slashed prices on some of its vehicles as it, as it fights to avoid bankruptcy after a potential deal with another automaker has fallen through. The manufacturer suggests a retail price of the 2023 Ocean Electric SUV in the U.S., uh, fell by tens of thousands of dollars. I was hoping for the actual price. Fisker lowered, here we go. Fisker lowered the MSRP for the 2023, listen, this is last year's model, who cares? 2023 Ocean Extreme from 61 to 37,000. The 2023 Ultra Trim will be priced at 34.9, down from 52, and the Sport will go at 25,000 from 38. So like, they're, they're, it's a fire sale, right? That's like clearance, 95% off, come get your cars before they're gone kind of sale, right? The company said that some of its ocean vehicles have as much as $7,000 worth of additional options that are included in the discounted prices. And so they said in a statement, it's strategically positioning the all-electric ocean SUV to be a more affordable and compelling choice, completely competitively available to EV buyers in the broadest possible market and constantly improving by frequent over-the-air updates. Oh, like we were just talking about, right? Uh, but still, analysts say the victim, the company could fall victim to bankruptcy. It's sad to see any company go bankrupt, but we expect to see more of them in the EV space. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I've been saying for ages. At the end of the day, it's unclear whether people actually want EVs or they simply want Teslas. That's what I've been saying. People don't want EVs. They want Teslas because Tesla is a brand, a lifestyle, and an ideology. Right. That's I mean, this person clearly is a Tesla fanboy like myself. But the point is, right. Yes, this car is available, but people don't want it. Yes, the, the Hummer EVs are available, but people don't want them. I did see uh, I'd seen a couple of Hummer trucks 
but this weekend I saw the first uh, Hummer SUV. Uh, man, that thing is huge, giant. Uh, but also like the cyber trucks, right? I've seen a few of them around where I live. And it was last week. I was after church. We're driving by the Tesla delivery center where I picked up my car, and my son saw like out of the corner of his eye. He goes, "Cyber truck!" So we pull over to the Tesla delivery center, and he and my nephew get out, and they're all running around taking pictures with their phones. They're like, "Oh my god, it's a cyber truck!" And I'm like, "Dude." This thing is so cool, right? And that's the deal with Teslas. They are heads and shoulders above everybody else at the, at at any shape and time. And in all reality, nobody wants an, an EV. They all want Teslas. And it's really funny to see, like, I'm not the only person who's saying that. There really is a lot of people talking about that. Watchtown DE, is Tesla a good pick at the moment? Prices are going down. Well, let's take a look at the AI trading data. Thank you for that segue there. Taking a look at the AI trading data on Tesla, we actually see a buy signal just a couple of days ago, March 25th. So about a week ago, we got a buy signal on Tesla. Now, um, let's look at the performance history on this. Yeah, look at this. 1,059% returns following these outlier signals, right? This is this is crazy. So um, I got to tell you, we are in the very last week of this promotion. It will go away forever, period. If you don't get this, you will permanently miss out on this. We will never offer this again. We have a lifetime deal that you can get right now over at outlierdeal.com, O-V-T-L-Y-R deal.com. That way you can get your hands on these AI trading signals, just like this Tesla one that has shown historically to have a 1,059 0.6% return. So head on over to outlierdeal.com quick. I'm telling you, this is the last week and it will never, ever be offered again. Let's see what the internet has to say about Fisker uh, basically slashing their prices to go out of business. Uh, MKBHD should be forced to buy at least one. You break it, you buy it. Okay. So the story on that. So this is Marquez Brownlee. Um, he did a a review so he has a he has a, a huge tech channel but he also talks about um cars on a different channel that he has and i've watched a few of them uh but this one in particular he talked about this car the fisker ocean how it was literally the worst car he's ever driven yeah and so this person's saying look <laughs> you break it you buy it <laughs> you broke this company you should uh, buy the company i guess <laughs> uh the saddest thing about the fisker was that one phone call they made to the owner of it who lent mkbhd his car yeah that that was a big mistake and this person says hey listen there's no warranty after they go bankrupt so nobody is going to be buying these cars and do check out one of these two videos youtube is recommending those to you right now because it thinks hey you're gonna love those two so click on one of those and thank you so much for watching today's outlier live see you in the next episode